Hello everyone, this is Pooja Snayo. Today we are going to proceed with our third experiment. The aim of our experiment is to use the given data set in order to build a KNN classification model. So to start with, let us look at KNN classification and introduction. K nearest neighbors is a simple algorithm that stores all available cases and classifies new cases based on a similarity measure. KNN has been used in statistical estimation and pattern recognition already in the beginning of 1970s as a non-parametric technique. To explain it with an example, here we have class A as well as class O and we have been given an instance C. What we have to do here is we have to classify C either into the class of A or into the class of O. So for that purpose we have been given the K value over here as 3. It means that we have to check the nearest or the closest value or the elements near to that instance C. That is here. The nearest or the closest element near C is present in this circle. That is 1A uh, and 2O. That means two words are for O and one word is for A. It means that obviously the element C will be classified as the class O. To proceed with our experiment, here we have iris data set and we take a validation, cross validation operator and in the cross validation operator we have two parts that is training as well as testing part. In the training part we put the KNN model, KNN operator and um, in the testing part, we have apply model as well as performance classification operator. We do the needed connections over here. After doing the needed connections, we go back to the process and connect the retrieve operator and the validation operator. After doing the needed connections, we run the process. On running the process, we get three results. That is, first is a performance vector, second is the example set, and third is the KNN classification. So here in KNN classification, we see that the model contains 150 examples and it has been classified as three classes. Iris Setosa, Iris Versicolor, and Iris Virginica. And in the performance vector, we get the accuracy of this model, this KNN model, how accurate it is. So here, here we have 96% accuracy. And the class precision is 100% for iris setosa, 94% for both the other things. We can change this accuracy by changing the K value of the KNN operator. Here we have the parameters on the right hand side. Here we have the K value means that if we increase this k value, we increase the number of neighbors to check for a particular instance. For example, I make the k value is 10. We also have weighted node, it can be checked or unchecked. And we have several measure times and mixed measure as well. Here if we change the value of k to 10 and if we run it, yes, we get an accuracy of 98%. Before it was 96 and now we have a accuracy of 98% here the class precision is 100, 96 and 97 and we have very less error values almost zero in every field so in this way if you change the value of k if we make it 20, 30 we will get different accuracy levels and yes this is uh, our uh, experiment of KN building model we have built the model successfully so what I have done is I have retrieved the iris data set and uh, in the cross validation operator, I uh, separated it into two processes that is training as well as testing. And after changing the value of k, I run it and I get the performance level too. I get the performance level and also the classes into which the elements are grouped into. So, this was our exercise on KNN misclassification. I hope this exercise was useful to you. Thank you.